Hi, uh, this is Mike Liveson, uh, here in Boston, about to go on stage with Gautier. You know, these things get invented out of musical necessity, out of, you know, I've never picked up a Vic stick and thought, oh, this is like a gimmick. Do you know what I mean? Everything I've picked up or, or tried always has, I can see some musical use for it. I'm using the Peter's stick, the, the bride stick. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been using this one pretty much this whole tour. Um, I just really, I mean, and I know it's got a ride stick, but man, this thing just sounds so good on cymbals that whenever you, whenever you go to a, a place to try out cymbals, like nine times out of ten, they'll have this stick because <laughs> it just makes every cymbal sound really great. Um, but uh, as opposed to some of the smaller bead things that make your cymbal sound great and your drums just sound really thin, these have got a, just a great kind of mixture of both that you can see. Also another thing I like about this particular stick is um, if you go down to the pad, you can see that there's a good sound variation between a nice flat out sound and as you come up with your grace notes or with your hi-hat type of things, you're really using quite a kind of sharp point. So it's got a variation of of tone as well, which I kind of like as opposed to a perfectly round tip, which is pretty much going to be consistent no matter where you are on the drum or on the cymbal. I like having a bit of variation, so that's why I use these ones. Got my trusty chop outs. I got these Steve Smith uh, things, they're pretty cool. I use those a lot. Uh, and then one. this. Got my mallets. Ones. Got my stick holders. And here's the kit.